We're moving to Thursday, January the 2nd. Let's talk about the Birmingham Bowl. It's 2 p.m. on ESPN in Birmingham, Alabama. You got Boston College in Cincinnati. Now, Luke Fickle has done a magnificent job with this Bearcats team. They're a little bit ahead of schedule. Um, played for and lost the AAC championship game. So, had you won that, maybe you're in the New Year Six. Motivation could be an issue here for Cincinnati because, good gracious, why would you want to go down and play in Legion Field in that game uh, against a, a team like Boston College who's that coach has already been fired, et cetera. I think Boston College actually might have the advantage as far as motivation goes. Oh, I, I, God. I, we disagree here. They just lost their coach. They lost their whole staff. I mean, Rich I, I uh, Rich Gunnell is the interim coach. He's the wide receivers coach. Uh, their OC, uh, Mike Bajakian, hired by Northwestern. Uh, yep. I Look, it, these two teams are not that far off when you look at stats and whatnot. Um, no, Boston College's defense not very good, but like I, I just there's something weird about this game. I feel like everybody would be taking Cincinnati on it, uh, but the line just looks really big. It opened at five and a half in favor of Cincinnati. It has been bet up to seven and a half. Uh, the total has stayed the same, fifty five and a half. I am gonna go over the fifty five and a half, um, and I'm gonna go Boston College plus seven and a half here. Like, A.J. Dillon isn't playing, but I, the, his backup has been great um, in the games that he's played. I'm going Boston College here. I, something is just weird about this game, uh, so I'm, I'm going to go with the dog. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the head start. Cincinnati's going to kill him. I, I think Cincinnati's going to murder this team. <laughs> just the talent gap separation between these two teams is, is immeasurable. It just is. One team played at a tougher conference, which is why they're so close in stats. They just did. Cincinnati played in a better conference than Boston College. And I guess played, played a tougher, uh, played. played a tougher non-conference. So yeah, but I mean, Ohio State. You can't look at one part of the schedule, Gary. You can't just. No, say I'm saying I'm saying Cincinnati played the the tougher non-conference. I'm not okay. saying anything yeah, about Boston. Fine, but that's irrelevant. They played in a tougher conference. Yeah. The uh, American is head and shoulders better than than the Athletic. Then the, yeah, the ACC. It just is. Yeah, okay, okay. It just is. That's the only reason the metrics have these teams as similar or close. That's it. What Cincinnati a... is a far superior team than them. I think talent-wise, they're bigger in the trenches. They're going to be better on defense, far better on defense, not even close. And, and offensively, Cincinnati's pretty good. They played some really good defenses this year that, that you know, held them to some points but didn't stop them, didn't shut them down. Do, uh, so I'm assuming that – well, I'm not going to assume anything. Are you taking the over or the under here on the 55? I'm, I'm going to go over because I think I think Cincinnati's going to score at will. Okay, okay. That's and I a, think a little... Boston College does have a big play offense. I think they're going to score. Cincinnati's defense isn't so big that they're not going to score at all. I'm not worried about that. There's going to be points to be had, but but I mean I think this is going to be a 17, 20 point differential. I just think Cincinnati. Ooh. And you say they don't care, they don't want to be here. You think Boston College wants to be here? Their coach just got fired. I, their OC just left for some, another job. Like something about the game seems fishy to me, and I don't know what it is. So I, the wide I'm, receiver coach does not scare me drawing up X's and O's. No, I can understand that. <laughs> some some guy that nobody's ever heard of and nobody's ever hired to to to, to come coach their team doesn't doesn't scare me. Luke Fickle is proven he's a hell of a football coach. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right about that. You were right about that. 